PlayStation 3 right here. Got the AV in, got the power in. Switch at the back, flip the switch. You get the two red lights at the front. Joypad, wireless joypad. Uh, PlayStation button, press the PlayStation button. Brings the PlayStation 3 out of standby mode. It's a hard drive light on the front which blinks from time to time and it goes through the um, little startup procedure before coming out to the menu. By the time it gets to this file, I'm at the stage where you can select a user on the joypad. So we can go up and down, user 1, PSM 3, got two users in there. By the time you get to this stage, you saw how fast the machine started though. Know? Um, it's already assigned the, uh, the joypad a, a, a channel there. So, go PSM3, got all our menu options. Let's load a disc up. We got Genji, a BDR, something we're all going get, to uh, get used to seeing. 25 gig single layer, all the games we've got so far are all, these, uh, are all single layer discs. And let's load it up. If you put in a little weight, it takes it the rest of the way. The blue light here shows disk activity on the on the Blu-ray drive appropriately enough. <coughs> so it's just thinking about it. And once there's a disk in, there you go. Just like a PSP. From the game menu, if you select the game, it brings up a, a appropriate background. So there's the menu, there's the disc. Uh, I won't load it just yet. Switching the machine off, unlike your PS2, it seems to go through a bit of a, a, a hard drive parking procedure. If you press and hold the power button down, a few seconds it beeps. And then it switches itself off. So we're back to the red lights again. If I switch it on, this time I'll do it from here. Press and hold. Instant startup. Blue light shows that there's a disc inside. Machine goes through the startup and it's up and running. Just show you how quick the joypad. I haven't turned the joypad on. Interestingly, if you turn the machine off, it turns the joypads off. Show you how quick it locks up with the uh, the joypad. If I press the button here, the lights will begin to flash, and it will find the PS3. So let's go. So it's looking for the PS3, it's found it. So that's real quick. So we're into PS3 there. Incidentally, while it's doing the startup, which only takes a few seconds, if you try and switch it off during that, it won't let you. So it's kind of a bit like a PC in that you, uh, you can't just flick the power off on the back. So I've selected Genji there to start. See how quick it loads up. Okay, we've got buttons for Looks like two buttons, but it's just one. Buttons for power and um, buttons for eject. Uh, they're flat, flat with a the machine. There's just a slight raised sort of metallic edge to them. But the idea is you just rest your finger on. So it's nothing to click. The Blu-ray flashing light there shows that it's thinking about spitting the disc out. And the disc comes out. And as for switching it off, rest your finger on it. It's a beep and then it goes through the hard drive parking procedure and off and then back I'll just tap the power again on the machine itself so, if you try and switch it off while it's starting up oh, it let me there let's do it again in the midst of uh... yeah I got a little no saying I can't be switched off while I'm busy uh, busy doing the boot up and again turn the pad on flashes and it's found it already select that profile and we're in